Hi everybody, so in this video I wanted to tell you guys about my Invisalign and braces experience. As you can see, I'm still going through my braces treatment. So yeah, if you guys want to learn more about my Invisalign treatment and how I started to wear braces, then stay tuned. Alright guys, so on my quest for straighter teeth, I started my Invisalign treatment in August of 2018 and I had cricket teeth on my bottom and then my two front teeth they were straight for the most part but they were going inward and so they just wanted to even that out. I had a lot of crowding on my bottom teeth. So for whatever reason, I never got braces as a kid. My parents thought my teeth weren't bad. They never wanted to pay for it, etc, etc. Fast forward, I'm a full grown adult and I do what I want with my money. So being a working professional who has to deal with a lot of client facing meetings, I thought Invisalign would be my best option as a older adult. I'm not that old, but I am old. So as far as cost goes, be prepared to spend anywhere from $4,000 to $6,000 depending on where you go. And don't be afraid to shop around and negotiate. That's exactly what I did. I went to three or four places and I got a quote from each place and then I was able to negotiate um, the place that I really wanted to go to was on the higher end. They were, they were quoting me about $6,000 and I just negotiated with them and was able to bring it down about a thousand dollars and that's not something that you have to be catty about you could just be very open and transparent about it you could just say hey I've been shopping around and I really want to go with your practice but this other place is offering me a much better deal is there any way that you can meet me in the middle and most orthodontist office will work with you if they want your business. So I ended up paying $4,700 on my Invisalign and braces. So $4,700 may seem a lot for an Invisalign, especially since there are cheaper alternatives out there, but you really do get what you pay for. And that's something that I thought was very valuable and I thought it was worth the price. So when you get Invisalign, uh, they actually put attachments on your teeth and so that when you put on the trays, they click into place. So I have my trays here and I don't know if I can show you guys, but here's a regular tray and then I don't know if you can see here, but there's a bubble here and there's a bubble here and a bubble here and that latches on to your attachments and so it's very secure on your teeth. So my orthodontist estimated that it would take 12 months of Invisalign treatment for me to have straight teeth. So what you do is that you just switch out your trays every two weeks and they get tighter and tighter and they slowly adjust your teeth over time. So I was noticing change in my teeth every week. So my teeth will gradually get straighter with each week that passed by. And that went on for a good 12 months and so at the end of my treatment at 12 months my teeth weren't as straight as they should have been and so my orthodontist ordered another set of trays for me they had me remolded and they sent in an order for another set of trays and that um, extended me out another six months but I needed another six months of treatment which he said was rare but it does happen because my teeth were stubborn I was fine with that and so we extended my treatment for another six months and I wore the trays for another six months so after my whole Invisalign experience it was 18 months and so when I was done with that second round of, of Invisalign he gave me the option to get molded for a third round of Invisalign or to get metal braces. Now at this point, I felt like my results had plateaued with Invisalign. There's only so much precision 
that plastic could do. So I opted to get regular metal braces. I want to mention that I had a wisdom tooth on my bottom left jaw and my orthodontist assured me that it would not affect my results from Invisalign but every time I went in I would question him because I was very doubtful because my bottom teeth really weren't moving after that 18 months so I kept asking him like hey is my wisdom actually from the beginning I asked if my wisdom tooth would be a problem and he assured me at every appointment that it would not affect my results but at every appointment I questioned him because I was doubtful so I would say if you are getting Invisalign or braces it's just um, better to have your wisdom tooth removed for that peace of mind So uh, if you have any unevenness in your teeth, they will shave down your teeth. So they'll shave it uh, horizontally if you have any unevenness. And then if you have crowding like I did, they'll shave vertically in between your teeth to make room. So he had shaved down my teeth four times. And every time I was like, do you think it's my wisdom tooth? Do you think I have enough room in my mouth? And he, he assured me it was fine. but. It was always a question in my head, so I really wish I removed my wisdom tooth from the get-go. So it's recommended that you wear your Invisalign trays at least 22 hours a day for maximum results. You only want to remove them when you're eating and then you want to brush your teeth and then put them back in and continue wearing them for the rest of the day. So by the end of my second treatment, um, when my teeth weren't where we wanted them to be, I was pretty much done with Invisalign. I didn't want to go in for a third round. I just wanted the regular traditional braces. So I could tell you that going from Invisalign to regular braces, you do feel a difference. There's a precision in regular traditional braces that you just don't feel with plastic Invisalign. And that's something that, I mean, you have to decide what you want. So at this point when I had traditional metal braces, I was actually excited because I know it would ex expedite and speed up um, the process of straightening my teeth and I no longer had to deal with Invisalign because clearly my results with Invisalign had completely plateaued. So my orthodontist said that I would only need to be in regular braces for about uh, eight weeks, about two months. Um, but I got my braces on March 10th and then their office was shut down due to the coronavirus. With everything going on with the shutdown, um, obviously my braces experience has been extended longer than anticipated. But you know, it's just something that you just got to roll with the punches. But I do like having um, metal braces. I feel like the results are a lot quicker, they're a lot faster, and it's more precise. So I know there are a lot of different kinds of remote services for invisible trays that um, allow you to get your teeth straightened without going into an office. One that's on the top of my mind is Smile Direct. And I could say that I have not had Smile Direct, but I do not recommend it. The reason that I don't recommend Smile Direct is that when I got Invisalign, I had inspired my supervisor to get her teeth straightened as well and so she decided to go with the cheaper more um, convenient option which was Smile Direct and then she inspired my other co-worker to go with Smile Direct as well so I had Invisalign and I was going through an orthodontist my supervisor and my co-worker were going through this remote service of Smile Direct and I could say that they both finished their treatment before I did, 
but they weren't 100% satisfied with their results. So as far as I know, Smile Direct doesn't have attachments. So your teeth um, aren't, aren't really secured and the trays kind of dig into your gums. And that's something that both of them told me. They would ask me like, are, are your gums sore? And I, I would say no. Because Smile Direct does not have attachments, it does seem to uh, recede and push into your gums, which cause a lot, causes a lot of soreness. And another thing that they were not satisfied about was that at the end of the treatment, they noticed a lot of gaps in between their teeth. So they noticed a lot of gappings, but it was so um, minor that they could, it's nothing that a computer could pick up. So you really get what you pay for. So I think um, my supervisor and coworker paid half of what I paid, but they didn't really get that detailed experience that I'm getting. So once they were unhappy with certain things, I mean, they were kind of left to their own devices. Whereas I could express anything to my orthodontist and he would get them fixed. So I did notice gapping in some of my teeth. Like I noticed gapping in the, my front two teeth. And I had mentioned that to him. Because every time I would go in, he would ask me, How do you feel about the progression of your teeth? And I would tell him, like, hey, I'm noticing a gap here that I didn't notice before. And he would be like, oh, yeah, like, I could see that. It's the very small, but I do see it. And he was like, you know what, I'll get that closed right up. And so he really paid attention to the detail. So as it stands today, I have um, to go get my braces tightened two more times. So we're looking about at a month and a half. Um, my goal or my dream wish is to have it completely done off and over with by August and that's when I'm reaching a birthday. So that's my biggest birthday wish is to be done with braces by August. So I hope this video gave you a good idea of what it's like to get Invisalign, Smile Direct and braces. This was just my personal experience. So I went through Invisalign for 18 months. And now I'm going through braces. It was supposed to be about two months, but since the quarantine happened, it's, I'm looking at about three and a half months. Please look out for a final results video. So I'll have photos in that video of what my teeth looked like before any of this happened. And then hopefully I'll have a after video of a straighter smile. So I hope this video was helpful and watch out for that final results video.